Greetings, WordPressers. In today's show, it's a remake of the one-page smooth scrolling menu, Elementor style. Jackson here, welcome to the channel, my home on YouTube for all things WordPress. So if you like a little bit of WordPress, why not consider subscribing if you're new here? All right, uh, description below has links and all that sort of stuff. Yes, indeed. Okay, on with today's show. About four years ago, I made a video about how to have smooth scrolling navigation on a one-page website, and it was one of my biggest hits. Yes, quite a few downloads for that one. Uh, and it has been a few years since I've revisited that. So I thought maybe it's, it's time for a little remake of that uh, particular video because it was so popular. So I thought I thought a refresh was uh, certainly in order for 2021. And the good news is that it's even more simpler than it ever used to be. If you're using Elementor, then this is a breeze. And you don't need Elementor Pro for this. The free or the pro version will serve you just perfectly. So here we go with the 2021 version of the smooth scrolling one page website. Right then, version two, let's go. So I've got a, a, an Elementor template here. It's for the Delightful Interiors website. Uh, we've got different sections. We've got their hero at the top here. Lounge chairs section, decor placements, their socials section, and a lovely little get in touch contact form there. A little scroll to the top button there as well, which is nice. As I said, it's an Elementor template so uh, I'm in preview mode so let's bring in the editor so the first thing we need to do is get a nav bar uh, in place don't worry about the images coming and going that's what kind of happens in the edit mode so we'll get an inner section we'll stick it above that hero section we'll change the structure to one third two thirds and we'll need some sort of logo in there so I'm just going to nick this headline here and paste it in we'll give that a little bit of styling and alignment we'll change the size to what 22 yeah that looks all right we've got to make sure that the columns are set also to middle alignment so that all our stuff sits in the middle Okay, so we also need uh, some sort of menu. Now, the good thing about this solution is you don't actually need Elemental Pro because you don't actually need a menu because we're gonna use the icon list, which is available in both versions. So if we drop that in there and change that to inline, we see we've got something that looks a bit like a menu. So let's just get that aligned to the right. And the first thing we'll do is take off the icons. I mean, you can have icons, don't get me wrong, but for this example, I think we'll just have it as plain text. And so what we wanna do, we want these items uh, to be going to the different sections of the site. So we're, we're gonna to go to uh, say this lounge chairs section, the decor placement section, the social media section, and the contact section. So let us rename those uh, appropriately. Uh, we've got lounge, and we've got decor, and we've got follow, uh, and we'll add another item for the contact section. Great, right. So now the great thing about Elementor, it has built into it uh, the ability to scroll to anchor points with links from within your page. Okay, let me show you what that means. So if we add a anchor tag to our different sections, so for example, on lounge here, select that, go to our advanced, if we give that a CSS ID of lounge, that is effectively a anchor tag. And so therefore we can apply that as a link to have it scroll to. Okay, let's do the same for the rest of the sections. Decor placements. We'll change that. Uh, we'll add the ID of decor. We'll do the same for follow section and the same for the contact section. Slam in the 
contact as the ID. Right, let's get back to the top of our menu, which of course is an icon list, uh, and we'll get those links in. So now if we just put those links as the anchor links, which are which is hashtag before the ID. Same for decor. Same for follow. Same for contact. Update that. Let us hit the preview and see what we've got. Yes, we have got a scrolling one page website. Now, it's not very useful having a one page scrolling website if the navigation for those scro for that scrolling functionality actually disappears when you scroll. So let's get back into the editor and make this section sticky. So we'll edit the inner section and go to motion effects and sticky and we'll stick it to the top. We'll also add uh, a bit of white background to that so that when it's scrolling, you can actually see it on top of the other content content correctly. Let's have a look at this now. Yeah, cool. Uh, now, the other thing with scrolling navigation, I always tend to put in a link to get you back to the top wherever you are. Now, the normal place, I mean, you could put a home link in there as well, but user experience these days, they're pretty uh, au fait with clicking on the logo and thinking that's gonna get them to where they need to go as far as where they started is concerned. So let's get back into the edit. Now, there's already a, if we look on this here, there's already a way to get back to the top by clicking on that. Uh, and that's because there's already an anchor tag linked to this uh, top section somewhere. So let us go back to our header and we can actually add the same link to that header and bingo we should have a fully scrolling one page website absolutely epic let's have let's have a quick look at what this looks like in the responsive arena tablet preview okay not bad okay we see we've got a little issue with this Oh, well, we see there's some padding with this logo here. I, I reckon it's because we nicked it from the uh, from the header and there's some, yeah, that's better. That's all working delightfully on delightful interiors. Uh, back to top, right, mobile. Okay, not so great on mobile. So a couple of options here, if we go back to editor. If we, if, on mobile, we could actually on the content, we could actually, on the alignment for the mobile view, we could put it in the center. And the same for the alignment center for mobile. So that kind of works for the mobile view. Or you could just remove it completely. Kind of, you know, season to taste it in that respect. Um, or alternatively, you could have a little hamburger menu as well, but I'll save that for a, another tutorial. And there you go, one page scroll, new version. And there you have it. It is as easy as that to get a simple one page navigation website. But do, as always, let me know what you think about that kind of thing in the comments below. But until next time, I shall see you later.